In good health, Michigan is still in the midst of one of the worst hepatitis A outbreaks in the country. But how is it spreading and what's being done to fight it? Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with what you need to know about it. Doc? Well, Devin and Kimberly, these eye-catching billboards give you a hint of how it is spreading. Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. It can be caused by a variety of sources, from toxins to immune problems. But the five viruses designated by the letters A, B, C, D, and E are the most common causes of hepatitis. Hepatitis A is especially problematic because it is so contagious. This is a nasty illness. I mean, one of our cases, this gentleman needed a liver transplant. This is not a disease you mess around with. Laura Bauman is the director of epidemiology for Washtenaw County, responsible for tracking infection cases. She's been on the front line as the current outbreak unfolded. This is not an outbreak in kids, so this is in adults. And so I think people forget that, and our kids are actually covered with vaccine quite well. That's because a vaccine has been available since 1995 and has been part of the recommended childhood vaccine schedule since 1996. The vaccine is so effective that if an unvaccinated adult is exposed to the virus but gets the vaccine within two weeks, they'll be protected from infection. This is called post-exposure prophylaxis, and it's one of the reasons we often warn the public when a restaurant employee has Hep A. We worry about with food workers is because of the way this virus can be transmitted through food that's been contaminated that more and more people could get exposed. Hepatitis A can be transmitted through blood like hepatitis B, but that's not how it infects most people. The bottom line is this is spread through poop. That makes it easy to spread, especially in areas with poor hygiene. This is a virus that is not going to respond to hand sanitizer. It, again, it's good old-fashioned washing with um, soap and water. Symptoms of hepatitis A include fever and fatigue, yellowing of the eyes and skin from jaundice, dark urine, and abdominal pain. Symptoms usually take two weeks to develop from the time of exposure, but they can take as long as two months to show up. Recovery can take one to two months, but you will be immune after you've been infected. Now, I mentioned the time from infection to symptoms or incubation can be as long as two months. Now, that's a serious issue when it comes to an outbreak because very few people can really figure out when they might have been exposed over a two-month period. Now, we showed what Washtenaw County is doing. So tonight at 11, I'm going to take you inside the investigation of this outbreak and show you the unique ways that the city of Detroit, Oakland, and Macomb counties have also been working to stop it. Mm -hmm. Interesting distinction she made between soap and hand sanitizer. I think most people assume hand sanitizer sanitizer would be would kill everything kill right. everything and it does not necessarily kill everything and a lot of it has to do with the degree of contamination and so hand sanitizer only takes care of the surface and those are alcohol based hand sanitizers uh, there are other uh, there are other chemicals that can be effective actually yeah. interesting though All right, okay. we'll see Thanks, you later Doc. on tonight